Hi. I'm trying to find um, Vixen Hang. See here? Outside is the man from the Free So office. He watches as a policeman tells us we need to go to the station. I'll guarantee you're charged. You might end up in police lockup overnight. We are picked up by a police motorcade and taken to Parliament because the Prime Minister wants to apologise to us for being detained. After three days of filming on Malolo Island, we head back to the mainland. Our attempts to document the damage being caused by the construction of Fiji's biggest tourist resort have proved eventful. Hey, wait, get look off here. Wait, mate, mate, get away, get away. Employees of the developers, FreeSol, had tried everything they could to prevent us filming. What do you mean what? Oh, you want the police to come here? You want the police to come here? My, yeah, and I'll to first stay in here. We take a small boat instead of the ferry to the mainland to avoid unwanted attention. And then travel three hours to Fiji's capital, Suva. First stop, Free Soul's head office in Fiji. It's a public office in Suva's main street. Previous attempts to get hold of its director, Dixon Pang, have ended in the phone being hung up. So we're hoping to find him here. There is no one in the reception area, so we pop into the office. Hi. I'm trying to find um, Dixon Pang. Is he here? No. We're here to see Dixon Pang about the Malolo Island development and the environmental damage that's been done there. Oh, no, I'm sorry, but uh, you will need to make an appointment. Then okay. Then we can, uh, can see him. Okay. Yeah. When will that Country be? Is, uh, is not here. Stand off your video. Yeah. He's not here. Mm -hmm. He's not in Suva. Yeah, uh, that's all I'm. Uh, I can tell you. Because okay. um, we just wanted to talk to him about the situation there. What's the, what's the situation? Well, that all the work that's been done without environmental approval. I think the matter is in court, uh, and uh, we leave it as it is. Take particular note of this man, a former Fijian army officer who worked for Free Soul. He'll play a further part in this story. We will not answer any more questions on that, as we might be breaching a, a court order. Okay. We leave the office in what seems pretty much a non-event. But as they say, anything can happen in Fiji, and that non-event will soon become a rather big event. So the court will make a determination on those issues? We interview we Kiwi lawyer Ken Chambers, who is representing the Solovu village and the surface with the land adjoining Free Soul. when there's a knock on the door. Outside is the man from the Free Soul office, he watches as a policeman tells us we need to go to the station. The allegation, criminal trespass. We're being taken in by police for asking questions at the Free Soul office a few hours earlier. Okay, so, so the police are down there. You've been down, I'm just coming back. I've just told them to wait because I've got to pack up all my gear. Yeah. So they're saying I've got to go to the police station for criminal, yeah, um, yeah. criminal. What is it? Trespass. Sure, criminal trespass. Okay. Yeah. So. So. <sighs> welcome to Fiji. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's what they'll do is they'll assess his evidence mm. and yours, and I'll guarantee you're charged. What does that mean? That you'll be charged with criminal trespass. And I won't get out of the country. Well. You might end up in. On, um, in police lockup for overnight. Could happen. Right. Nobody this is a bit silly. Back downstairs, the policeman, who's been patiently waiting with our producer Mark Jennings, wants to get going. Notice the free soul guy is still creeping around across the road. No prizes for figuring out who got us arrested. But we're not in trouble. 
<laughs> not much, not much. No, not <laughs> much. Not a lot to take photographs of. This is Suva's Totongo police station, which we'll see a lot of over the next 13 hours. Cameraman Hayden All secretly records what he can. Initially, we're allowed our phones, so I text Newsroom and get hold of the New Zealand Embassy in Fiji. Let's write all your names here. Because after that, then you sit down on that side. We'd be in this room for hours on end as police interview Free Soul staff. Eventually, we are taken to a holding room where we spend the night on the floor. Early the next morning, things move pretty fast. Our first visitor is the Commissioner for Police himself. He'd had a phone call from none other than Frank Baini Marama, and we are released. An hour later, we are picked up by a police motorcade and taken to Parliament because the Prime Minister wants to apologise to us for being detained. The unanswered question was why did police act on such a self-serving complaint from Free Soul and why had it attracted the most important people in Fiji? Our meeting with the Prime Minister starts with him asking how we knew about the Free Soul development story. My son is a surfer. Oh, OK. So he goes there surfing and he stays at the village. OK. And they say we're in big trouble. All these bad things with the environment are happening. OK. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's not really what I want to talk to you about, about the environment. The Minister for Environment and I are sorting that out. I hope so. Oh, yes, yes. In fact, I'm, uh, I'm very worried about it. Don't, don't worry. Let, let you worry. Good hand. Let me worry. Promise. From. <laughs> <laughs> I have made a statement, uh, I think last, uh, about two months ago. Uh, I don't know. Tourism, tourism. Yeah. tourism Awards. Tourism Award. Yes. Ah. I know. Okay. Very and good it, speech. Yes. This is that speech. To any developer from anywhere in the world, let me say this. If you intend to destroy or forever degrade our environment, you are not welcome in Fiji. What was it you say? If you don't abide by the Fijian laws? Out. You're not yes. welcome. Yeah. You're not welcome. And, and that's why there are two cases in court. We're going to set them up. So uh, be assured of that. All I wanted to tell you this morning is how disappointed I am and the people of Fiji. Uh, we are outraged by what transpired because we want assistance from uh, the help of uh, uh, our ally in, in uh, press reporting about what has been happening in Fiji with regards to environment issues. So uh, before we leave, I want to take you down and have some morning tea. But I, I just want to, to apologize on behalf of the people of Fiji for what comes Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Within one day of that morning tea, the Fijian government has effectively stopped the Free Soul Resort dead. Government officials have revoked Free Soul's environmental permits because of the repeated breaches of its conditions. And then this week at the High Court hearing in Suva, an injunction to stop Free Soul working at the resort site became something entirely different. Instead, with the environment permits gone, the High Court ordered Free Soul to pay the costs of restoring the land and foreshore, the mangrove forest and the reef to its original condition. So after more than a year of fighting, the voices of the people have finally been heard after just a few days of extraordinary activity. The massive Chinese resort is highly unlikely to proceed ever. <laughs>